What's up, y'all? Malcolm here at How to Barbecue Right. We're hanging out at the Smokehouse. It's football time, and that means we need some tailgate recipes. Now, this one's easy, and you can do most of the prep at home. When you get to where you're going on game day, all you need is some hot coals, and you're ready to go. Now, I call this one tailgate strip steak sandwiches. We're gonna grill off these strip steaks over some hot coal, make a beer cheese sauce to go over the top of these sandwiches, and they're gonna be dynamite. Let's get to cooking. So y'all, I got three New York strip steaks here. And what we're gonna do is get some season on them. First, I got a little Worcestershire I'm putting down to give us a little binder. So you just wanna drizzle a little Worcestershire right over the top of each of these steaks. And just kind of rub it in. This is what's gonna help our seasoning stick. It's gonna give us a little flavor. So once we get that Worcestershire rubbed in on these strip steaks, we're ready for some seasoning. First, I got that salt, pepper, garlic. Y'all know I use that on everything. That's my AP seasoning. We'll do a little light coat of that. And then we need some coarser grains on it. So I've got my steak rub going on. And this has got all the good stuff in it. The onion, the garlic, the peppers, big flaky salts. We're just gonna pat that in to kind of make a crust on the outside of these strip steaks. And I chose strip steaks for this recipe because I really like that lean contrast they have. They do have a little fat on the outside edge, but that strip steak, is perfect for making a sandwich with. You can grill it off fast, leave it good and medium rare, then cut it up into thin strips, and it's gonna stack up nice on our sandwich. But you could use any cut of steak, really, if you want to use a flat iron or flank steak or something that's kind of lean, that's gonna stand up to some nice thin slices, it would be perfect for this recipe. Once we got one side done, all we're gonna do is flip these steaks over, do the same thing to the back side. Got some Worcestershire going down for a binder. Then we're gonna hit them with some of that AEP right over the top. Then we need that coarse steak rub. Use your favorite seasons. Whatever you put on steak, you could absolutely do it on this recipe. I just like the crust that that steak rub gives. I'm even gonna put a little on that fat. All the sides covered good. These strip steaks are kind of thick. At this point, I just want them to hang out here on the cutting board while I get my fire ready. But you could absolutely go ahead and do this the day before, throw them in a Ziploc bag, and then bring them out to your tailgate ready to cook day of. Now for cooking this recipe, all you need is some hot coals. So if you're at the tailgate, any grill will do. Today, I'm using my open fire crank it up grill. I poured some lump coal in my basket, used a couple tumbleweeds to let those coals get good and hot, and I've got the grate lowered down to right on top the hot coals. Now we're ready to cook. So I'm gonna get my vegetables going first. And I started with a whole onion that I peeled half and just sliced it up thin. A red bell pepper and a green bell pepper, same treatment. I put them in a Ziploc bag, tossed in a little olive oil, some of that AP, that salt, pepper, garlic, mixed them up. And this one's great to do the night ahead because as they sit in that seasoning, in that olive oil, they're gonna start softening up. They're gonna pick up a lot of flavor. Then all you gotta do is bring them to the tailgate. So I've just got the peppers and the onions in a pan here on the hot coals. And we're just cooking them to they're soft. We're not trying to caramelize them, but it's gonna get hot pretty quick. Anytime I'm cooking at a tailgate or a football party, I don't want to be at the grill too long. I'm there to have a good time, to watch the game, cheer on my team. So if I can do the prep ahead of time and make the cooking fast on game day, it's all good. Now what's really going to make this sandwich special is my tailgate cheese sauce. And you want to prep this up ahead of time. It probably takes the longest out of this recipe, so do it the night before. Now it's just a regular old roux, butter and flour to start. Then I poured in some Miller Lite. You need about half a cup and some heavy cream. So think bechamel sauce with a little beer. Worcestershire, spicy Dijon mustard, a little bit of steak rub and a little bit of cayenne pepper for some pop. Then I grated up some Hatch green chili cheddar cheese. That's what's gonna give us that cheesy sauce. And then I poured the sauce up in one of these little metal pans, slapped some aluminum foil over the top it goes in the refrigerator. So after a couple minutes, these peppers and onions will start sizzling. All that moisture is gonna cook away in there, and that's what I want. This is what's gonna bring everybody to your tailgate. If they're in smelling distance, they're gonna know that something good's on the grill. And all it is is peppers and onions. There's something about it that's special though. And look how hot that is. I got a bed of coals underneath there. But we need that heat because I wanna cook these steaks hot and fast. I wanna get my vegetables done. And this whole thing should take less than a half hour to get all these steaks, the peppers and onions, the cheese warmed back up and my bread toasted off. Anything that I get together with folks and drink beer and watch sports, 
I'm in. Sign me up. Now this is how you want your peppers and onions. The onions are soft. The peppers are soft. They're not charred up, not caramelized too much. I'm going to let them keep rolling, but I'm just going to take our pan, move it over here. It's time to set our cheese sauce on the grill because it doesn't need long. So I'm just going to put it down here on the end. Let it kind of get warm. If I notice it bubbling too much, I'll stir it up. Now we're ready to grill these strip steaks. I'm just going to grab them right here and throw them right on that hot coal, right over the lump. No right or wrong way. You just want to burn these steaks just right. Just put them that way. That fat can drip down. And you just want to go two or three minutes each side. And I'm still keeping an eye on my peppers and onions. They're doing good back there. Just staying happy. Cheese is up on front. Starting to bubble just a little bit. It don't take much heat on the cheese. You just want it off to the side. You can't beat beef over hot coals, peppers and onions. That's just a smell you'll never forget. After about a minute and a half, ooh, look at it, we're getting some char. I'm gonna just turn them a little bit. I ain't really worried about perfect grill marks or anything like that. We're just cooking steaks. Now after about three minutes, it's time to get our flip on these steaks. Got some good char going, some kind of marks, nothing special. That's what I want to see. I'm making that crust on them. We got a minute and a half and another minute and a half, and I guarantee you, they gonna be dead. Give them a cheese, just a little stir. It's looking good, loosened up. If it didn't loosen up enough for you, you know, Always splash a little more of that Miller Lite in there, loosen it up. That's good enough to eat right there. Right now, I'm sitting at about 115. I'm looking for about 125. At this point, you throw the timer out the window because you're really just going for internal temperature. Bring you a little handheld thermometer. That's a lifesaver when you're cooking steaks. You want to nail that doneness, that's what you need. All right, these steaks been on about six and a half total minutes, and I'm calling them. I mean, they got that char, the fat's starting to get crispy on the outside. Strip steaks are easy to cook. Seasoning, some high coals, that's all you need. So to toast off our buns, I've got some little ciabatta rolls we just split in half. I'm just putting them straight on the grate here. You can use any kind of little roll you want for these, but I like the way the denseness of this ciabatta stands up to the steak and to the cheese sauce, to everything we're gonna pile up on it. All I want them is toasted. About 30 seconds straight on the grate over the hot coals is all it takes. All right, y'all, this is what we've been waiting on, making this sandwich. Let me get one of these juicy strip steaks out. And what I'm gonna do is just cut it into thin strips. And I'm just gonna start kind of at a bias. And I like to keep these slices on the thin side. Really, the idea for keeping it thin is think of it like roast beef. You know, you want it to pile up on the bread, but you wanna be able to bite it. I mean, we're talking sitting there with a beer in one hand, sandwich in the other, watching the game, hanging out with your friends. You don't want something that you gotta have a knife to cut or you need utensils. So if you keep it thin, you can bite right through it. You got a little fat on there, that's okay. I'm probably gonna take that off. Nobody wants that on their sandwich. Nice little nugget at the end is the pit masher. Mm. So we got a couple of our ciabatta rolls that we toasted off here. To be the little glue on the bottom to hold this sandwich together, I whipped up a little spicy chipotle mayo. Started with some of that blue plate mayonnaise, chipotle peppers chopped up real fine, the kind you get in a can in adobo sauce. A Little bit of Worcestershire and some seasonings. That's all there is to it, a little bump of cayenne for some spice. Put that in the refrigerator, let it sit overnight, all those flavors are gonna come together. What I'm gonna do is just take me a little plastic knife, just like you'd have at the tailgate, put it on there real nice. Now we're ready to layer on this strip steak. And there ain't no right or wrong way. Just take some of these perfectly medium rare slices and start piling up on these sandwiches. And you can put as much or as little as you want, but if you got hungry men at the party, man, give them some meat. That looks about like how much I'd want on a sandwich. Peppers and onions. You gotta add that vegetable course, you know, keep them doctors happy and all that stuff going right over the top. Now this is that tailgate beer cheese sauce that I made up. But all I'm gonna do with this sauce is take it and drizzle that cheese sauce right over the top. And we're gonna put that top bun right on top. Let that glue down. Now, I didn't say it wasn't a messy tailgate sandwich, but I guarantee you it's gonna be good. Now I'm gonna jump on in here on one of these sandwiches because the game's gonna start, right? You gotta get some food in your belly. Let's see how we did. Mm. Oh man. Yes, the cheese sauce goes perfect with the vegetables and the beef. Probably got it all over me. I'm gonna need to grab a napkin. Oh, where do you think you're going, steak? Mm. Tailgate, football party, at the bar, it don't matter. Wherever you're at, one of these will be good. Y'all, if you want to take that tailgate to that gourmet level and nobody knows how easy it is, make this recipe. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Hey, appreciate y'all. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on all the social platforms. Shell and I are going to talk about this recipe and all the other delicious stuff we're cooking on our weekly podcast. Give that a listen too. We'll see y'all next time.